Hi, I'm Jason Hodge with Medical Fitness Pros, and you may be asking yourself, what exactly is VO2? Uh, VO2 is something I referenced in, di in the Diabetes article uh, in Absolutely Magazine. And the thing about VO2, um, it's all these different crazy formulas you can look at and, and try to decipher. But what it comes down to ultimately is that it's basically the amount of oxygen your body can utilize at any one given time. So for instance, someone that's a sprinter that's in the best shape of their life, let's say they're in their 20s or 30s, um, they can handle a lot of stuff before they really start getting out of breath. The, how fast they can run, how far they can go, their body can handle a lot and the, their body has the ability to process a lot of oxygen which is what the maximum VO2 is. On the other hand, someone that's not in good shape, let's say they're diabetic or they haven't been working out, they tend to have a lower VO2 which means if they do something as simple as climbing the stairs they tend to get a, little, get a little bit more out of breath. And the thing is, the higher that your VO2 is, the better shape you're in. It's, it's basically an indicator of your cardiovascular fitness level. So what we know is that diabetics have a lower VO2 than those that are of the same age, weight, size, and do not have diabetes. So even if you take two people that are identical, one person has diabetes and one does not have diabetes, the person that is diabetic has a lower VO2 that we find than those who do not. It's just been proven over and over again in studies. So one of the keys for improving your overall health is to improve your VO2, especially if you have diabetes. Now there's some good news I want to share with you. What we find also is that people that have diabetes have the ability to increase their VO2 faster than those that do not, that do not have diabetes. So if you have diabetes and you start off at a lower number, you can improve your VO2 levels faster than if you actually did not have diabetes. And it's, it's because you started at a lower point, but your body has the ability to adapt and change. So here's a little fitness tip for you if you do have diabetes and you want to change your VO2. Keep pushing yourself just a little bit to your max. Not all the time, not for long periods of time, but maybe for three or four times during a workout. Try to, try to push your body a little bit so you get a little bit, a little bit out of breath. Um, maybe for 30 seconds or a minute about three or four times throughout your workout. And it could be cardiovascular or whatever you like, but try to increase your VO2 over time. Keep pushing yourself, keep challenging yourself, but don't go overboard and also don't fall into the trap of making things too easy for yourself. Um, I hope that helps with VO2. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm Jason Hodge with Medical Fitness Pros and Absolutely Magazine, and uh, that is what VO2 is.